Dear colleagues, welcome to Aspire webinar. My name is Atsushi Tanaka, the director of St. Mala Hospital in Japan. Today, I would like to talk about oocyte activation, to do or not. The start of life begins at the encounter of the sperm and egg. They fuse and develop into a new creature with the help of oocyte activation. So we can say, oocyte activation is the mother of our life. XC technique was developed well. However, about 20 to 30% of all oocyte could not be fertilized. This slide shows three types of fertilization. Left slide is normal and center is on the female pronucleus and right shows no pronucleus. They could be oocyte activation deficiency or fertilization failure. So they need any treatment for supporting fertilization. To determine reasons of fertilization failure after ICSI, we have attempted the cytogenetic analysis of human ICSI oocytes in which no pronucleus was seen 12 hours after insemination. In the part of A, intact sperm head was found with 23 meiotic chromosomes. In B, you can see normal sperm with a chromosomal and tail. In C, a sperm nucleus freed from the plasma membrane. D, a swollen sperm nucleus. E, a condensing chromatin mass. Prematurely condensed chromosomes derived from sperm and oocyte meiotic chromosomes. Thin prematurely condensed chromatin of sperm, indicated by arrows, and oocyte chromosomes at the second meiotic metaphase, which consists of two homologous cis chromatids, indicated by arrow heads. We call it condition as PCC. This slide shows the result of cytogenetic analysis in ICSI oocytes without male or female polynucleus. You can see, surprisingly, 93% of oocytes were unfertilized. That is, oocytes were not activated. This video shows a series of human fertilization. The green arrow indicates the first wild body. This oocyte is in the metaphase two stage. The second polar body was extruded three hours after ICSI. The female small polynucleus appeared just under the second polar body after six hours, and the male polynucleus uh, centrally appeared seven hours after ICSI. The female pronucleus approaches the male pronucleus with increasing size. Both of them suddenly disappeared about 21 hours later and divided into two cells about 25 hours later. This time-lapse movie of human embryogenesis after ICSI. Extrusion of second polar body three hours after ICSI. Disappearance of both pronucleus 21 hours later. Two cell stage five hours later. And developed to four cell stage about 40 hours later. And they developed to S cell stage 
50 hours later. And they keep on dividing into 32 cells and leach compact modula 89 hours later. And proceeding to early process 93 hours later. And the last three, a lab at mature process about 100 hours later. This slide shows calcium-dependent egg activation mechanism. Calcium oscillation inducing protein, phospholipase cizita, is introduced into the egg cytoplasm upon sperm egg fusion. Piercizita produces inositol to phase uh, to phosphate IP3. Then calcium is released from the endoplasmic reticula via IP3 receptor. This calcium rise triggers resumption of meiotic cell division, leading to the extrusion of the compala body and the formation of male and female per nuclei. Sperm contains PSC zeta in its sperm head. This is why the ICSI can induce calcium release to resume the egg cell cycle. In ICSI, failure case, the calcium rise and cause oscillations were not being observed. In this context, two reasons can be considered. One is deficiency of PS zeta in sperm. Another is oocyte quality. This figure shows the mechanism of calcium oscillation induced by sperm in the egg side plasma. At fertilization, mammalian eggs show repetitive transient calcium rises each of which is due to calcium release from the endoplasmic reticulum through IP3 receptors. During fertilization, a factor from the sperm, that's one factor, is released into the oocyte and induces series of calcium spikes that are required for egg activation. It is called as calcium oscillations. IP3 producing enzyme PLC zeta is a strong candidate for the sperm factor. This will show the second myotic division process after PLC zeta injection more clearly than the previous movie. Left most slide is M2 oocyte before injection. M2 chromosome start, started to separate 70 minutes later and enter the anaphase, then telophase, with second polar body six hours after the injection. Small female pronucleus move forward to the center while increasing its size. As you can see, the bottom figures A and B are very similar. A is after IVF and B is after PSC zeta injection. I will show you evidences of PSC zeta as a spawn factor. One, PSC zeta triggers calcium oscillations indistinguishable from those at fertilization. Two, PS zeta induced embryos can develop into cyst person genetically. Three, PS zeta removal from sperm extracts abolishes calcium released in eggs. Four, PS zeta content of a single sperm was sufficient to produce calcium oscillations as well as a normal embryo. There are two types of artificial ozone activation. 
First is it flux calcium ion from extra site, for example, calcium ion 4 or electrical stimulation. Second is control of the flux and the flux of calcium ion, right amount of calcium ion is always pulled by opening or closing the lock of IP3 receptor. In this study, we got patient informed consent and use mature oocytes derived from immature eggs. We incubated the oocyte in calcium sensitive fluorescent dye, fluor 8 first, and activated them in various stimulation, including human PS zeta, and measured intercellular calcium concentration using calcium imaging. In the cytosolic aspiration and injection activation method, calcium oscillations were not occurred. This video didn't show the expression of calcium oscillation. In the ionomycin activation method, fluorescent intensity gradually decreased after five minutes after treatment. Calcium oscillations were not observed in the medium with ionomycin. This video showed the calcium oscillation clearly after electrical stimulation. The first spike appeared about 50 minutes after the stimulation. However, height, interval, and duration of spikes were irregular. You can see in two sites, calcium oscillation rises when it becomes brighter and, it, and lowers when it becomes darker. This slide shows two types of oocyte activations. A is after IVF, B is after PS zeta injection. Both of two shows very similar calcium oscillation pattern. This video shows the expression of calcium oscillation after PS zeta injection. You can see the peptidine calcium spikes legendary. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, now I ask you, what is the best ocean activation method? The answer is to produce high quality oocytes following optimal control wire stimulation. High quality oocytes have abundant oocytes activators that are PS Dita and IP3. This has shown the procedures of PS XC. The sperm was aspirated tail first by using the pipette with the flat tip. The sperm was immobilized by touching the tail twice. The immobilized sperm was aspirated head first. The zona pellucida was penetrated with a weak piece of pulse and rejected zona pellucida was expelled into medium. The tip of injection pipette was introduced forward to stretch the cytoplasmic membrane. A weak pulse was added to break it, and the sperm was injected. The injected medium with sperm was aspirated and withdrew the pipette slowly. This is a comparison of embryonic result between two groups, two PN rate, losses rate, and the cryopreservation rate were significantly higher 
in peers of group. And the generation rate was lower. Advantage of peers X is less damages inside plasma than conventional X resulted in higher 2 pn rate and blastus rate and lower also the degeneration rate. This slide shows the summary of my presentation. One, main cause of fertilization failure is USAID activation deficiency. Two, conventional USAID activation methods are not effective. High pathogenicity is not always equal to high rate of AOA. The missing OA seems to open and close the calcium channel by correctly functioning IP3. PSC data is a strong candidate for OA. 5. XC plus AOA does not help fertilization with low quality oocytes. 6. Optimal control of various stimulation is crucial to produce high quality oocytes. Last three. PSOXC increased the 2PN ratio more than conventional XC. In conclusion, currently, PSC zeta is considered to be the most effective for onset activation. However, it requires high quality oocyte to be an effective activator. Thank you for your kind attention.